simple hello world example for WebAssembly. I have a couple of files here, which is hello world on C++. And first we try to compile this um, by regular CLang compiler. And we put here hello world. And we see that we have our output file, which we can run right from our console. You can see the hello world of a C++ application. And what we have to do next is we're going to install the Docker image of mscripten compiler, which is tool for compiling WASM files. This is the simplest and easiest way to get started. So here is a Docker container, which I found and seems to be the most popular at the moment on the Docker Hub. And we have to follow this uh, on our machine. I just did it before and got this actual version already. And let me start compiling to WebAssembly. For this, we have to type docker run and we put rm in order to be container removed after it executes the command. And we have to input the volume, which, our, which is our current directory. And inside the container, we point the source directory, which is in this container set up by default. Not obviously it will be so on other containers. So we type in the src and the name of our container, which is as that. I don't really know how to pronounce that stuff. And the name of our tool is inscription. Then we have to binary of our program, which we need in this case is emcc and the input file, which is hello world C++. Uh, we can leave it at this way and we compile just a plain dot wasm file, but M what mscripten allows you to do is to point the output file name which is, for example, index.html, and it will generate all the JavaScript required in order to run your code and see in the browser, which I point index.html. And let's see what it does. So we have no errors and we can refresh our source tree. We have here a .html file, big, JavaScript file, which is about 5,040 lines, 500 lines. Uh, most of this stuff is not quite optimized and you can see big amount of functions which are not really used anywhere. So to see what we have our hello world, we can run some kind of local server. It could be anything like node. I personally like PHP feature which can be done like so. It's not for production purpose. It's like really simple stuff on our local host. So we put the host name and the port, which we want to, and go to the local host. And we see that the output is in the browser and even in the, in the console. We have some kind of error here. All right. Anyway, at least at the moment, it does what it should do. And I got one more example. So let us try not with the PHP local servers server, but built-in feature of the IntelliJ ID to run the server. Let's see if we have, oh yeah, this time we don't have any errors. It works really cool. And this C++ example is from the mscripten uh, starting tutorial, which is in here, I put the link in the description. And what it does, it's, it put this kind of as element, some kind of colored stuff. Let's see if we can do so. I repeat the command, but this time just copy it here. 
and specify index HTML again. This will overwrite our file and here our original login file, which we compiled. I start recompiling the script and we should see this colored frame once we refresh. So I hit refresh and yep, yeah, it really works. So it's really basic getting started tutorial for WebAssembly. There is much stuff to learn and explore in this JavaScript file. Okay, anyway, we got our getting started script work and what we can do here is not just like generating standardized uh, HTML page, but we can omit this and we can just delete this for a second. And we can see that we can just generate plane with a bunch of setup. So we can use this not only in the browser anywhere we want, let's say in Node.js and other languages like Rust, I don't know, whatever whatever the was can be used for. That's it for now. I guess I'm I'm gonna make some more tutorials once I know more and better. So have fun, click like and subscribe. Good luck.